and it was quite bizarre. This is the first time this has ever happened. Superior Court Clerk Erica Woodford's day took an unusual turn Monday when Dolores Freeman came into her office. On the phone with a scam artist or an alleged deputy who says she needs to pay a fine for failing to appear at jury duty. The man introduced himself to Freeman as Officer James Hall and told her she would be arrested if she didn't pay the fine. The man told her to come to Walmart and bring a money order for around $700 and she told him she was on her way. The customer stated to the scammer that she was walking to Walmart but really came here. Instead, she stayed on the line and went to the clerk's office to find out what was really going on and actually put the scammer on the line with the clerk herself. And I told him, well, I am the jury clerk and we are in the courthouse now. At that point, he hung up. The same day, another unrelated Freeman, 58-year-old Dorothy, says she got the same call. No show for jury duty, pay up or go to jail. $377 for one thing. Uh, $177 for something is, which it came to $820. I'm saying, well, I don't have that kind of money. Freeman says she knew it was a scam after the caller made lewd sexual comments. Are you by yourself? Uh, who's in the house with you? Do you have a boyfriend? Do you have this? And then went on and started talking perverted stuff. Just a few weeks ago, the Bibb County Sheriff's Office arrested two other people, 21-year-old Tevin Johnson and 23-year-old Latoria Gibson, charged with a similar phone scam. So far, no indication that the cases are connected. Woodford says in the past few weeks, her office has gotten several calls about possible jury duty scams. She says if anyone calls you asking for money, it's a scam. We send official correspondence by mail, um, or the sheriff may send a sheriff's deputy to someone's door. Um, but we will not make a call. Right. As for the man on the other end of the phone? And that's something that, you know, should be stopped. And I hope it is. In Macon, Tom George, 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News.